you know, but if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need, and uh, <laughs> you may not need that rain, Hannah. Nobody wants the rain tomorrow, for sure. Do no. we need yeah. the rain? Not really. We've had a lot yeah, of rain. Really the drought rain. has been eliminated over this winter, but will we get the rain tomorrow? Maybe. Unfortunately, Maybe. we are tracking some storm chances, but this is a hard forecast, Shelby. Because it is. We've been talking about it a lot. Uh, as we told you all yesterday, Hannah and I are very invested in this we forecast are very for invested. Jazz Fest purposes as well as... Yes, we're taking engagement photos tomorrow. Engagement? And I really don't want to have to reschedule them. Absolutely. Obviously, so they could be rescheduled. Jazz Fest can't, but, you know, we we're, still we're still invested in an optimistic forecast here, um, but... The uncertainty, which is always a difficult thing to communicate in a forecast, the uncertainty on whether or not these storms are going to be able to hold together long enough to cross mm -hmm. our area, yeah. that's where we're having trouble. Yeah, and these aren't driven by a cold front, which is more predictable because you have that one boundary coming down. These sure. are what we call mesoscale convective systems, a lot of words for a complex of storms coming down. And we have all the ingredients that they need right. to We've keep got going. The heat, the it's humidity. very warm. We're yeah. in the upper 70s, low 80s already. We're going to see upper 80s today so 88 degrees for our high it feels like summer with the humidity back too which is another ingredient for those storms so we're forecasting 82 thursday and friday because we are expecting at least cloud cover from the storms maybe some rain from the storms and we could see the storms themselves where they're spawning from is the plains that's where the low pressure is that's what sends out kind of waves of energy that fly down to the south and cause those complexes of storm activity. Most of the rain is going to be just to the west of us. That's where the bulk of the storms are going to make it. Now the question is, do they last long enough to actually get into our area? A lot of the modeling is showing some of it falling apart. They fall apart, but where do they fall apart? Do they fall apart over the river parishes and just don't make it to New Orleans? I mean, that's such a minute detail to try and sort out 48 hours or, or even 24 hours in advance so it does look like we're gonna have rain yes but who's gonna get it and how far across the area is it going to make it that's kind of that's kind of the trouble here we just want folks to be prepared yes have a contingency plan because it is going to be kind of a day of forecast whether or not those storms will get to us so we're putting 40 percent each day we do think there will be some storm activity could there be no rain in some areas Definitely that is a possibility, but I'll show you all the model runs coming up and we can actually kind of look at it. <laughs> we'll really, yeah, get a deep dive into it in just a minute. Hannah, thanks so much. And we have a lot more coming up for you. At